Okay, what we're going to do is complete the square. And we're going to find the vertex form and the x-intercepts. First thing you want to do is kick this 8 over to the other side. So I subtract 8 from both sides and I want to leave a little space there. Now I'm going to do the complete the square process. You take half of the B term. So half of negative 6 is negative 3. Now you want to square that negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 3 well, that's going to be 9. Now, this gives me a perfect square trinomial. Now, if I add 9 to this side, I have to add 9 to the other side as well. Now, x squared minus 6x plus 9 is going to give me x minus 3, the quantity squared. So, it goes pretty quick. And 9 minus 8 is 1. I'm almost done finding the vertex form. So I'm going to split this into two separate situations, vertex form and intercepts. All I need to do now is bring that 1 over to the other side. So that's going to give me minus 1 equals 0. Now that's the vertex form of a quadratic equation. So if I had y equals the quantity x minus 3 squared minus 1, the vertex is staring me in the face. All I have to do is pattern match the H and the K. And the vertex of this equation is going to be opposite same. 3, 1. Actually, 3, negative 1. <clears throat> now I'm going to copy this over to the other side and find the x-intercepts. x minus 3, the quantity squared, equal to 1, but to save a little space, I'm going to do a couple steps in one step here. So I left a little space. The opposite of squaring is square rooting. So if I square root the left side, I have to square root the right side as well. When you add the square root, you add the plus minus. Now, that square root cancels out that square. That's going to give me x minus 3 equals plus minus 1. Because the square root of 1 is 1. Notice I left a little space again. The opposite of minus 3 is plus 3. So I add 3 to both sides. And this is going to give me two situations or two numeric answers. 3 plus 1, well, that equals 4. And that's going to be one of my x-intercepts. And then the other situation is 3 minus 1. And 3 minus 1, that equals 2. So my x-intercepts are going to be as a coordinate 2, 0, and 4, 0. If I wanted to know what the y-intercept was, well, that would be 0, 8. But I just wanted to find the vertex form and the x-intercepts. Thank you.